But what really makes it crazy is the super. All right, how's it going guys? This is Justin from Jacob Duck Reptiles. We're back for an awesome new Friday vlog. And we're actually gonna share some amazing snakes that came out of disappointing clutches. It's two Pompeii clutches. And in just our last video, we are talking about the value of snakes and why they're high priced so high. Well, this video is an excellent example of why they're priced so high because it was really, really hard to hit like what we wanna hit. We wanted to hit Pompeii's and we've now tried, I think four or five clutches in a row now missed so far this year, but that's just how it goes. The cool thing is, and that we get to show you, is that we got some crazy, crazy babies, including some brand new super red stripes that I've never yet seen before this video. So let's dive into them and check them out. I think you're gonna like it. So here's the first clutch, and this has the super red stripes, which are so cool to see. Still not that many people are actually making the super red stripes. And the cool thing is that these are also het clowns. So. A super red stripe female. She's absolutely beautiful. Now you can tell it's a super red stripe because the effect of the red stripe is about double. You know, it's kind of like the pastel, super pastel. The effect is doubled. You have a little bit of an actual stripe forming here. Sometimes they're very striped, but you do have like a, almost a golden line down the back. And again, lots of rusty color from the, uh, the red stripe. Awesome, awesome combo. But the really cool thing is when you start layering in some of the different genes. This is Black Pastel Yellow Belly Red Stripe. And it's really, really cool because it also gets a little bit of that golden kind of dashed stripe there and kind of blown up sides, really awesome. But what really makes it crazy is the Super. So this is the same thing as this, only with the Super Red Stripe. This is Super Red Stripe Yellow Belly Black Pastel. And that really, really, really creates this beautiful bright orange stripe and blows up the sides even more. So this is one of the, the really cool supers we got in the collection. The other one was without the black pastel, but adding spot nose. This is super red stripe, spot nose, yellow belly, head clown. And look at that. Like the spot nose, you know, typically adds a lot of definition to the pattern, but it is competing with the yellow belly blowing up the sides and then the super red stripe adding this really beautiful kind of golden stripe down the back. Really, really, really phenomenal. This is a very, very underrated morph. Love these. I wish they had been visual clowns. You know, you can't really pick sometimes your odds. We were hoping to get the super red stripe clown versions of all these, but you know what? We're gonna keep trying it again. This is, I think, our second super red stripe Pompeii clutch. And uh, it's, been, uh, it's been tough to hit the odds and it's so much fun every time we try. So before we show you the next clutch, I wanted to give you an update on the Super Red Stripe Clown Girl. We made this clutch about a year ago and she's been a little bit of a slow eater. We attached two visual Super Red Stripe Clowns. It's actually a really, really cool look. It's very, very, very different than your standard clown. A lot of really different dorsal looking and a very different color. But this is gonna help the odds, you know? This is part of what you do and you're trying to get those odds as you start making some of the pieces that come out of the previous clutches. You grow them up and then the more powerful pieces it starts to narrow your odds each time. So it's not like you're trying exactly the same thing over and over. Each time you try, you get a little bit better, um, better math problem to deal with, and hopefully we'll get it eventually. So the second clutch we had was Pompeii to Inchy Clown. So clown to clown, we had five codoms in the mix, so the odds of hatching a Pompeii from that would have been one in 16, and the odds of hatching all five incomplete dominants with the recessive clown would have been one in 32. So we had a long shot on our hands, and we got some really, really cool stuff, a really cool mix of stuff. When you put that many incomplete dominance into one animal, you're just gonna get like this major kaleidoscope of options. And so we ended up with some neat stuff here. This is something, an animal that I've been actually wanting to see for a while, and I doubt I'm the first person to make it, but this is a black pastel inchy clown. And this is actually a super form. A lot of people don't realize or have, are just now learning that the black pastels in cinnamon are lilac with enchi. And so this is a super form essentially with the clown. And I've hatched a few of these that have other genes attached, but this is the first time I've actually been able to see it just in its simple form. 
And uh, it's kind of interesting how that interacted. You know, you still have that Cindy look, but with a whiter stripe, darker colors, and more kind of a rich chocolate type black back on there. So really, really cool to see that snake. Some of the other combos are just wild. So this is red stripe and she yellow belly clown. Love that. But we actually brought in a lot of color on this was the Enchi Yellow Belly Red Stripe Black Pastel Clown. So this is four incomplete dominant genes plus the recessive. And look how much more rich the color the Black Pastel brought into this animal. It actually has a very, very, very similar color palette to the Pimpe, which we'll show you a quick video of that. As you can see, it has almost the exact same color, just the pinstripe changes out the pattern completely. So then we hit a Black Pastel spot nose, yellow belly, clown. So this is everything except for red stripe to be a Pompeii. Really, really cool. And it might actually have Inchi and hiding in there too. It's a very different color. But again, you're, you're getting into a little bit of difficulty when you talk about these two super form type animals is because they interact in a unique way and they don't change each other as much as you might expect they would. So then we have a yellow belly, spot nose, Inchi clown a black pastel red stripe spot nose clown, and then a couple more just regular red stripe spot nose clowns. So fantastic little clutch. It shows you how much cool variety you can get when you have a lot of different things mixed in. It's a lot, a lot of fun, and maybe you won't hit that ultimate snake you're looking for, because that is always gonna be hard, but you get so much cool stuff along the way that's really, really rewarding. So there it is. I feel like I'm just proving to you guys how hard it is to do this. We tried our best. We did even visual to visual. We even tried super red stripe. It is hard to hit some of these combos, but it's so exciting when you do hit it and so exciting to get all the different little pieces and see different variations that you've not yet seen from other combos. So every clutch is a learning opportunity and I get to share them with you, which makes it extra special. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow us on Patreon. Follow us on YouTube and Instagram, and we'll see you again next week.